you don't, you don't have an inheritance. That's what I meant. If, if, if you don't have any wealth, what are you passing on? Look, if you, if, see, we've spent most of our lives focusing politically on things that are non-inheritable. See, when, when, when the Civil Rights Movement started, you're talking about your, inter, your integration years? Is it your product of an integrated generation? Uh, what, what did your generation focus on? You focus on welfare, food stamp, public housing, okay, civil rights, social integration, preferential treatment, uh, getting a job. How, how do you inherit that, those things? What is there to inherit? And, 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 and a typical white person right now, as an example, wealthy, they live off 87% of their income comes from unearned income. They're getting it from unearned income. They're getting it from, 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 from Wall Street, from the stock markets. They're getting it from, from rent, rental payments for property they own. They're getting it from, from trust accounts. They got unearned income coming in. Where is your black unearned income? What's that gonna be, food stamp, welfare, uh, unemployment compensation? Where are you gonna get unearned income from? And they keep telling black, that every black generation, integrated into it, that you've inherited something. What have you got to inherit? What black family you know is passing on any resources, any wealth to their children? Every, see, and so that means that, so what I'm saying then is that every white child at birth, he, come, he hits this earth in his community, in his church, in his family, in his neighborhood, in his school, in his race, with 87% of what he needs to be successful in life. He can reach out unlike you just said at any time and touch what he wants. He can go down the street and find banks. He can go find people that's in business. He can get cousins and relatives as, as, as professional people. He can touch it anytime he wants to. The 87 average white kid comes in with 87% of what he needs. You as a black person, you come in with zero. You come in with zero. You gotta compete against a white child that has 87%, you come in with zero. So what they're gonna tell you is that, that's okay, you just gotta run fast and jump higher. And that's not fair to black children. Black people have to learn that you gotta, you gotta start developing wealth and resources and pass it on to these children so they can be at least competitive and quit focusing on this, this waste of time stuff about something that's, that's irrelevant that you can't measure. Oh, I'm leaving my kids some hope. I'm leaving him with a good mind. I'm giving him with the blessing of a family. Now, all that stuff, no, he needs something to compete against that guy that got 87%.